That's what we're talking about when we talk about mindfulness, right? If we were to take the analogy one step further, um, think of anger arises in, arising inside of you. When anger arises inside of you, it's the bone of anger that arises inside of you. If you or if I uh, react with the puppy mind, I do whatever it is I do when I get angry, right? If I cuss, I cuss. If my heart pounds, it pounds. If my fists clench up, it just happens. If I fight, I fight, right? It's reactive behavior. But if I respond with the mind of the lion, it's different. Anger arises, the bone of anger arises in my experience. And I may think to myself, I'm angry right now. Even just that thought, the thought of a meta thought, like a thought about my own experience, I'm angry right now. That's different than the puppy's experience or the dog's experience, right? The dog is in complete tunnel vision, prefrontal cortex completely shut down, right? So if I think to myself, I'm angry right now, or it might be one step further, it might be a thought or just an insight. Anger arises, anger is gonna pass away. I'm angry right now, I'll probably be angry again in the future, but it comes and goes, impermanence. That's another uh, brief, distance that I'm putting between me and the anger itself. And that process is called disidentification, meaning I'm not my anger. I'm not my depression. It may be something that arises inside of me over and over again. It may even be patterned behavior or experience that comes up, but it's not the totality of who I am. It's an experience I'm having. 